2021 was the most dangerous year on Colorado roads, and it all comes down to driving impaired. Yeah, KRD News Channel 13's Natalie Haddad shares these staggering numbers. The last time Colorado saw fatal crash numbers this high was 20 years ago. 2021 was the most dangerous year on Colorado's roads since 2002. Nearly 700 folks lost their lives. Since 2019, meanwhile, there has been a 44% increase in the number of fatalities relating to impaired drivers. Not every crash is the result of driver impairment, but we know from the data that one third of all fatalities last year involved an impaired driver. So this is something we really need to be concerned about. Driving drunk is, of course, dangerous. At the 0.08 blood alcohol content level, you're about 300% more likely to crash than if you're sober. And that's not the only way Coloradans are reportedly driving impaired. Cannabis impairs you in the exact ways you can't afford to be impaired when you're driving. That includes slowed reaction time. It includes difficulties in staying in your lane, decreased ability to do more than one thing at once, decreased cognitive performance. That's just cannabis. In many ways, driving while under the influence of cannabis is similar to driving drunk. Mix the two, and it's an even more dangerous concoction. Our survey data and our research data makes clear you are much more likely to take unnecessary risks like speeding, running red lights, texting and driving, driving aggressively, choosing to use cannabis or alcohol, just that, a personal choice. There are safe ways to use both drugs. The lesson from today's news is uh, there's no safe way to use either and get behind the wheel. AAA is an advertiser for KRDO. For more information or advocacy opportunities, go to krdo.com.